Hey there guys and welcome to the latest installment in the event running series. This week we have the Frozen Stronghold event. And uh, as you might notice, it's pretty much a recycled version of one of the old, uh, what do you call it? One of the old Imperious Reach dungeon maps. I've been hearing catacombs, um, there were, there's only like, there were only four of them in the original series, I believe, though. So definitely not Markundi. It's the one with the, whichever one had the, the Shade Barbarian for the boss. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty much that map with snow in it. I, I don't know. Just recycle, recycling galore. If it isn't broke, broken, don't fix it and all that jazz. Um, so as you'll notice that there's, there's a, uh, there's a lot of enclosed spaces in this, and that played a pretty big part in my decision to swap out my usual Breath of Fire skill for Incinerate. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody noticed that, but I did, and what I've found is that Breath of Fire is more when you want and have the... Le uh, the space room to work with to be casting out a uh, long-term high burst damage spell like Bre which breath of fire is but here in your you've got your you've got a pretty enclosed space and you've got all these ice orb enemies to dodge and you really don't have the space you need you really want to have when you were if you were going to be trying to work with breath of fire so that was that's why i decided to switch to incinerate for this event uh... also it's it's actually got pretty similar levels of burn uh... you'll see when this guy this glacial beast comes back here um, yeah he lost most of his health i mean sure i basic attacked him and fireballed him a couple times but most of that was actually the uh... The incinerate. I think, I think from what I've seen, it drops about three fourths of their health or so. But yet, yeah, um, it's pretty strong if you. It's your. It's a pretty strong alternative if you don't have the uh, space to work with to run Breath of Fire effectively. So yeah, it's just more or less running around, doing that. Um, also, your uh, since it's an enclosed space, just just swapping out breath of in, breath of fire for incinerate isn't isn't enough. You've uh, you can't just like oh change your skills now you're good. Uh, you this map you kind of have to watch a bit about your positioning, and you'll see that uh, coming up here down down in this this uh, bottom left corner. It's really enclosed space and it has a Turk on the Wicked whose damage is scaled incredibly high and a Glacial Beast and multiple Ice Orb shooters and that, that the room that they are in the room that they begin in is not a room you want to go into it is it is a death trap like you will die if you go in there without having burned off a couple of these guys uh, so as you can see, there's there's literally no space to work with, um, and Turk on the Wicked's, as, as I mentioned, from from personal experience, I can tell you that his damage is rather scaled up from his um, normal map counterparts. He is not a guy you want to be in that tiny space with. So there's that. You got to watch your positioning a bit. Um, I mean, you saw that I was it was perfectly fine to go in there after I had feared him out, but before then, that's really a, that's just, that's just a place you want to avoid. So, just standard stuff here, burning off the, burning off the, uh, menaces and the soldiers that shoot ice orbs. As you can see, the, um, it actually incinerate burns off a decent amount of the HP on the glacial menaces as well, which is pretty nice, especially since they've, they've got their Increased armor. See, I'm dealing like thousands of these guys. I'm, I'm dealing like what is that? Four thousands to the other guys. So it's pretty substantial. Um, makes quite the difference, and it's nice to just like oh, throw out an incinerate. Let's see how much that does. Eh, 
Oh, that was like a quarter of his HP. Then again, he lost his frost armor about 80% um, of the way through it, I guess. It's probably something like that. Couldn't really tell. But yeah, um, yeah, Incinerate. <laughs> the unsung hero of this event. For, for me, anyway, I don't know. So that was the run. Uh, heading back to town now. And a couple things I just wanted to point out about the reward box. Uh, this week's event brings back more appearance items. Uh, and we've got a set of four. Uh, offhand, chest, keep boots, and the common items, they give you gold now. Uh, the lock box for this event is 20k, so at minimum, if you're gonna be, if you get gold, at minimum you'll be getting enough for one box. Uh, I don't know, I guess that's alright. Wouldn't be my first choice for a common reward, but, I don't know, it'll do. <laughs> it's not, I don't think it's bad or anything. Oh, great, 20 gold, 20k gold. Hmm. Yeah. So that's that. Um, yeah. That was a run. Uh, okay, so just pretty much just as long as you're kind of conscious of the ice orbs and your positioning and don't get trapped in like enclosed spaces with no one to help you out. Do I have one of these? I feel like I do. If it would let me click on the button, I could see. Oh, it's because I was trying to sell stuff. Whoops. Yeah, I do. Okay, I don't need you. Goodbye. Uh, so yeah, that was the event run. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week for the next event.